These are the five tips to growing a successful real estate brand that anybody can do. So let's talk brand. Now, a lot of people say, how do you stand out in the real estate market? And today I wanna to be covering that exact topic and this all coincides with brand because brand without a shadow of a doubt is the single greatest investment that you can make in not only yourself, but also in your business. Now there is three core frameworks and there is a couple of extra strategies that I'm gonna be breaking down in the video for you today. So you can go out and create a highly successful brand and I'm telling you now it is way simpler than they would have you believe, all right? So I wanna get right into it. So the first thing that I wanna break down is actually identity and authenticity. Now this is actually a really, really, really important part of building a brand and it's actually one of the core fundamentals that almost every brand gets wrong. And I'm gonna say brand because a lot of people think they're building a brand and they're actually not. When we think about brands, we think about the apples of the world, right? Or a, a McDonald's or a Nike. These are brands that are encapsulated and ingrained in our mind. Now, the question is, how do you go ahead and do that for yourself? So the first thing is with identify or identity and authenticity, this is actually about being true to who you are. Now, this might sound extremely simple and in actual fact, it is very simple. It's just something that a lot of people shy away from because they have this belief that a lot of people aren't going to resonate with who they actually are. So everyone listening to this right now is a real estate agent. I'm a real estate agent, you're a real estate agent. You wanna go out and set yourself apart. How are you going to do that if you are just a real estate agent? It's gonna be extremely difficult and it's gonna be exponentially more difficult if you are brand new to the market so you don't even have any proof or any backup to say, hey, I've sold a lot of homes. So this is how you go ahead and do it. You add an and statement into your life. So this could be as simple as saying, I'm a real estate agent and I race cars. This this would be true for me. I'm a real estate agent and a dad. I'm a real estate agent and I love to cook. Now the reason this is important is it allows you to expand upon your identity and it allows you to resonate with people who also identify like that. So I'll give you an amazing example of a realtor out there who has cracked the code on identity and authenticity. Now this guy is, goes by the inked realtor. I've used this guy in a few of my previous videos because I think he has really cracked this in such an extreme way. Now, as you can see, this guy's covered head to foot in tattoos and is absolutely crushing it as a real estate agent. Why do you think that is? Is it because maybe he is attracting people who love tattoos? Do you think he's pushing away people that hate tattoos and think he looks scary? Absolutely. But the thing is, is he's not trying to serve everybody. He's trying to serve somebody very specific. And that is also a key point of being successful with identifying and authenticity is having a sub sector, a sub niche that you serve, that you can shout from the rooftops. So in the case of the Ink Realtor, he obviously is going to attract people that love tattoos and therefore he is going to get more and more business assuming he's a great realtor of other people that love tattoos through referrals he stands out in the crowd and he stands for something so the question is what are you going to stand for now i want to give you a story about me personally just to drive home the authenticity part of this when i start, first start creating content i thought it was pretty taboo to swear. Now, I'll give you a little bit of background. I'm an engineer and business owner and I have been my whole life. We grew up with swearing. It is an integral part of who I am and I've done it for as long as I can remember. And then when I came into the world of brand building and content creation, I just felt like, oh, I, I can't swear. All these other people aren't swearing. And I will tell you one thing for absolute certain, that lack of authenticity, being true to who I was, came through in all my content and my branding and allowed it to not be as successful as I wanted it to be. 
when I actually just allowed myself to embody who I really was and go, do you know what? I love to say fuck. Like, it feels fucking great. Like, I like to swear, right? And I don't try and subdue myself during my content on my brand when I'm speaking to people. I come across far more authentic, far more real. And everybody will say that you can tell if someone is full of shit or not. Why do you curse so much? For a guy who doesn't need to. Because I only believe in authenticity. It's how I talk. Like when I think about do I care about my employees, it feels more like in my brain and my heart and my soul, do I give a fuck about my employees more than do I care about my employees? That's how my, that's from my brain and heart to my mouth. You will have met people in your life where un, there is an undercurrent you just can't quite pick up on, that you just don't feel they're quite real. That is authenticity, all right? So the second part is actually distribution. Now, distribution, as obvious as it sounds, is obviously super important. The more places you have your content, have your brand, have your face, the more people are gonna know you and the more people are gonna see you as an influence in that space. Uh, there's an amazing saying that I absolutely love, which is best known beats best, and it's totally true. The amazing realtor who is in the corner that no one's ever heard of, but he is absolutely fantastic, will get beaten every day by the person who is not very good but faces everywhere because they are the perceived expert. So when it comes to getting your content out there, don't get over face. It's not like this huge wall and you're like, ah, oh, I can't do it. Like, what the hell the f am I gonna do? Like, no. The thing to do is just get your phone out and start recording content every day on your phone. Take people to listings, show them homes, and just start this process. The start is always the hardest. And when it comes to the actual act of distribution itself, using the social medias, which is your Facebooks, your YouTubes, your uh, Instagrams of the world, potentially Snapchat and obviously TikTok. These are the ones you wanna be focused on. In today's world, if you aren't on social media, you essentially don't exist. So make sure when you are creating this content, you are distributing it and don't be afraid of people looking at it and being like, oh, this is rubbish, this is awful, it's shit. And you getting like all these negative emotions around it, it actually very, very rarely happens. Most people are actually just stoked that you're out there doing it and you're trying it. And a lot of people who do listen to you and want to learn from you, which is another part of your brand, are gonna love your content. And I promise you this, if you start today, you will look back in a month's time and in six months' time and you will see how far you've come. But I guarantee you will not improve one iota if you just start in six months and you just overanalyze. So just get to work and get out there and start producing content and start distributing. It. All right, so the third part is amplification. Now, what I mean by amplification is the whole best known beats best. Now, you can create content consistently and you can share it on your socials and you can have this amazing brand that you're proud of and you've already identified who you are, you're authentic to yourself, you know who you serve, so you're serving new families who are moving to the area, you know, you, you're, you're servicing, you know, millionaires who are looking for penthouses, you know, you are serving, uh, you know, business executives who are looking for investment properties. Then you are creating content on how you are helping those specific individuals. So those other individuals can see those types of people that are like themselves being helped. You then have to scream from the rooftops and say, hey, everybody, I sell luxury penthouses to business executives all over North America. That is my thing. Whatever that, whatever that example is, you have to shout it. Now, amplification is like I touched on, it is sharing it on all social media, on your cards, on your, any signs you have, mailers you have, you have to get it out there and you have to do it consistently. So more and more people associate you with that specific thing and your brand starts to become known for servicing that very specific type of person in that very specific way. That is actually how you win and how you create a very successful brand. The beautiful thing about a brand is that literally anybody can create one. You are a unique individual, as am I, and if you are authentically you and you serve a specific type of person, no one is gonna be able to compete with you. Literally nobody, and that is the single greatest thing about brand. You cannot come and copy me because it wouldn't be authentic to who you are, and people will see through that far more than you would believe, all right? So this is one of the things about building a brand that people don't talk about that is also why the biggest players 
all have brands because they know when they're established and built, they can't be touched. So we've gone through some of the high level stuff and I know you're, you're thinking, how do I get started? What's the first step? I'm gonna give you the simplest first step in the world that will make the biggest difference, I guarantee it. First step is gonna to be to go to GoDaddy or Namecheap and buy yourself a domain. AndrewSellsHomes.com Something like that. It could be, like ours, BocaBosses.com You own that domain. That domain is going to be your brand. You're going to attach your email to that domain and that is the only email you're going to use from now until forevermore. That is going to be your real estate brand. Do you want to know how powerful this is? This means that when you join a brokerage or when you might leave a brokerage and join another one, everything is exactly the same because I'm going to break down. I'm going to, I'm going to shock you here. Absolutely no one gives a shit what brokerage you're with. No one cares. Nobody cares. No one has done business with you because you're with KW. No one's done business with you because you're with Coldwell Banker or EXP or Berkshire Hathaway. No one cares. No one cares. They care about you and your team and what you can provide for them. That is why successful agents move from one brokerage to another brokerage and have no loss of income at all. Usually they just grow because they've built a brand and a reputation for themselves. Your brand is your reputation. So why would people not want to go to you just because you've moved brokerage? So the simplest step in the world is just to go and buy yourself a domain for your brand and that becomes your email. That's your first step. And then now from evermore, like I said, it means if you go from KW to Colwell Banker or to EXP, then you're gonna have everyone still using that email and that domain and that is your brand. That's the power of it. The final part of building a successful brand is something that I've literally never heard anyone talk about, which is building a community, a tribe, which eventually become raving fans. Now, do you think it's a chap and chance that Ryan Serhan, Tom Ferry, Grant Cardone, to name three, have these huge communities and tribes and people that just absolutely love them. No, they have spent time indoctrinating their community. They've become raving fans and obviously they get a lot of business from their band, brand and ultimately from their community because their community are the people that are gonna recommend their stuff and buy over and over again. And that is exactly the case for you. So the easiest and simplest way to do this is actually to set up a free Facebook group. Put all your past and present clients in there and this is a way for them to all hang out and you can hang out in there with them. It's also an easy way to coordinate events so you can all build this tribe and community together and they will over time turn into a community of Raven fans and I promise the power of word of mouth will blow your mind and you will have more business than you will ever be able to handle if you do this correctly. Now, I do have a video up here. If you wanna learn more strategies on how to accelerate your real estate business even faster. So go ahead and check that out and I will see you in the next one.